In this lesson, I'll show you how to create a new module and assign it to pages throughout your site. There are various modules built into Joomla and these are accessed by logging into Administrator and going to Extensions Module Manager. This is the list of Joomla modules, some of which are currently disabled as indicated by a cross in the listing. Let's start by getting the menu we created at the end of the previous lesson working. When we created the new menu, a module was also created but it needs to be enabled. Click on the title, Aircraft Articles, and in this window click Yes next to Enabled. We also need to tell Joomla where to position this module in our template. Click on this drop down box to see the list of positions that are available in this template. As it happens, left is where I want it, so I'll leave that unchanged. Click Save, return to the front end and view the results. The new menu has been added, but it doesn't exactly look the same as the other menus. Modules can have different styles, and this is determined by the template developer. Let's have a look at how this has been applied to the main menu style. Return to Administrator and the Module Manager. Click on the Main Menu module, and in the right column, click Advanced Parameters. Next to Module Class Suffix is Underscore Menu. This tells Joomla to apply this template style to this module. Close Main Menu module and go to the Aircraft Articles module. Go to Advanced Parameters and type next to Module Class Suffix underscore Menu and click Save. Now return to the front end and refresh. Now the menu looks the same as the others. When you choose a template for your site, the developer should include some instructions that describe if there are any different styles included. Let's now create a module from scratch. Return to Administrator and Module Manager. Click the New button, and we're presented with a list of built-in modules. Let's say you want to add some text or an image. Normally you would create an article, but this would be displayed in the main part of the page. If you want it to appear in a different position, you can create a module and assign it accordingly. Click Custom HTML and a new window will appear. Give it a title and select a position for it to be displayed. Under Menu Assignment, you can specify which pages will display the module. If you want it on all pages, leave this as is. Or, if you want it to only appear on certain pages, click this button, and then choose the relevant pages in the box below. Then you can enter some text as you would with a normal article. Lastly, if you want to use a template style, enter the appropriate code here. Then click Save, and return to the front end, and refresh. Now you can see the custom module here, in the left position. There's one last thing I'd like to show you. Let's say that you want to change the display order of your modules. This is done using the Order column. Let's make this a bit easier by, to work with by changing the Position filter to Left. This will now only display the modules that have been assigned to the Left position. Let's say we want to move our Aircraft Articles menu to the bottom of the Left column. You can either repeatedly click this arrowhead to move it into position, or better still, you can manually enter a number and click this little icon here of a disk. That refreshes the list and pushes the menu to the bottom. 
have a look at the front end and refresh and you'll see that aircraft articles is now at the bottom of the left position. Up until now our content has been just text but images are essential on any website so in the next lesson I'll show you how to insert them into your articles and modules. If you're keen to become a Joomla master, be sure to get the Advanced Builder Joomla website course. If you download these lessons instead of watching them online, you'll get a workbook, walkthrough videos, as well as a ton of extra teaching. Just click the link below to learn more.